All right, so on Monday we did multiplying rational expressions, which remember rationals we just said is a fancy way to say a fraction. So we don't actually like to multiply, or divide I should say. Divided by a fraction is something we can't actually technically do in math. So instead of dividing, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. And we know how to do multiplication. So remember the reciprocal means you have to flip the second one. So we're going to go keep, change, flip. So we are going to keep the very first thing, which is 8n over 7n to the fifth. We are going to change the operation to multiplication. And we are going to flip this second fraction and make the top go to the bottom and the bottom go to the top. Now we're going to go just like our multiplication problem because it is a multiplication problem. We can cancel either up and down or diagonally. So up and down, I see that n cancels, and this becomes 8 over 7n to the 4th. On the other side, again, I can cancel out those n's. So I have 9n to the 3rd over 2. I can also cancel diagonally. So my 8 and my 2 cancel. That becomes a 4. If I have n to the 4th and n to the 3rd, those cancel out. So I'm left with 4 over 7n times 9. Technically below that is a 1. Now we're just going to multiply straight across. So we get 36 over 7n. If you need and I'm going too fast, please pause the video. Because like I said, I'm trying to get this done for you guys today since I am not here for your class this afternoon. All right, so we can see it's a division problem. We're going to keep, change, flip, multiply by the reciprocal. Keep the first thing. Remember that x minus 9 is one thing on its own. Then we have x minus 3 and x plus 3. So we kept our first thing. Change, change it to multiplication. And then we flip our second fraction, moving the bottom piece to the top and the top piece to to the bottom. And now it's just a multiplication problem. We've done many multiplication problems. So we can cancel up and down or diagonally. And we say diagonally, x minus 9's cancel. And x plus 3's cancel. So on top, we have 5x squared over x minus 3. A reminder that x minus 3 is one thing on its own. You cannot cancel a top an x from the top and the bottom because it has to be that full x minus 3 to cancel. Always double check your final answer to make sure that you can't divide everything by something. Make sure it's in simplest form. All right, moving on to our next one here. Sorry, my pen's a little messy here. Writing from the smart board is a little bit different than writing from the original. So it is a division problem. So we are going to keep, change, flip. Keep the original r squared plus 2r minus 63 over r minus 10. Change it to a multiplication problem and flip our second fraction, flipping our top and bottom, because we are multiplying by the reciprocal. So now this is the problem we were dealing with. So we have to make sure to factor everything so we can see our common terms. So that top piece, set up your two parentheses and r in the front. If you change them to x's, I don't care. That's completely fine. Looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 63, but add to a positive 2. We know we're going to have one of each since it's multiplying to a negative, and we are going to have a positive 9 and a negative 7. On the bottom, remember that r minus 10 is 1 thing. That r minus 10 on the top is also 1 thing. But we can go ahead and factor out our bottom. Two numbers that multiply to a positive 28, but add to a negative 11. I know they're both going to be negatives. Numbers that multiply to 28 and add to negative 11 are negative 7, negative 4. Now that we have everything factored out, we can look for common terms, either up and down or diagonally. Our r minus 10s cancel diagonally, and our r minus 7s cancel diagonally. So on top, we are left with r plus 9 over r minus 4. 
And again, remember that R minus 4 and the R plus 9 are one term. You cannot cancel those R's out. You cannot cancel those R's out because they're attached to the 9 and negative 4. All right, as we can see, this one is all factored for us. But we're going to keep change flip because it is division. So we want to keep the very first thing. Change it to a multiplication problem. And flip our second fraction into its reciprocal. And now it is a multiplication problem, which brings us right back to our Monday, where we can cancel up and down or diagonally. Up and down, I get my x minus 8, and diagonally, I get the x plus 1. So if I look to see what I have left here, I have 8 times 10 minus x over x minus 10. Now, in looking at what I have left, I can see, well, if I have 10 minus x and x minus 10, they are very similar to each other with the exception that well, on the bottom, it's a positive x, and on the top, it's a negative x. And on the top, I have a positive 10, and the bottom is a negative 10. So they're the same except for their signs. So to change the signs, I can actually pull up a negative 1, and I'm going to go ahead and do that out of the top. I'm going to bring that negative sign all the way to the front. And by bringing that negative sign to the front, I get negative 10 plus x, which is indeed the same thing as x minus 10. So now those two can go ahead and cancel out, and we are just left with our negative 8 on the top. All right. Well, let's do another one here. Like I said, if I'm going too fast, please just ask Ms. Holtz to pause the video. All right, keep change flip because it's a division problem. Keep the very first fraction. Change it to multiplication and flip it to the reciprocal of the second one there. So looking here on the bottom, I can't break that up into two parentheses, but remember you can always pull out what's common. So I can pull a 9 out of both 9p and 18. So we're left with p plus 2 times p minus 4 over 1. Remember that p minus 4 is one thing on its own. The only thing that's going to cancel out here for us are the 9s. So our final answer is p minus 4 over p plus 2. All right, let's move on to one that's just a slight bit harder here. This one right here. So it is division problem. The first thing I'm going to do is our keep change flip. Keep the very first part. So that first fraction, we keep exactly the same to start off. We change it to a multiplication problem. And we flip it to the reciprocal of that second fraction. Moving the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to factor it out. We're going to have multiple steps on this factoring here. On that top one, I'm going to make my space a little bit bigger here because I'm going to have kind of a middle area here. I know that I can pull a 2 out of both 14a and 6. So that leaves me with 7a plus 3. On the bottom, I could pull out a 2a, which would leave me with 3a minus 10. Now, remember when we have to factor something like this, where there's not a 1 in the front of it, I have to multiply our front and our back. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to a negative 60, but add to a negative 17. So because there's a 6 a squared there, my in-between step has a 6a in the front of each. If I'm multiplying to a negative, I know 1 is negative, 1 is positive. 
the two numbers that would multiply to a negative 60 and add to a negative 17. Oh, let's see. Would that be 20 and 3? And it would have to be negative 20, positive 3. Then, right now, if I multiply 6a times 6a, that's too much. That would be 36a squared. So this one can be divided by 2, and this one can be divided by 3. So my factorization for that top one is 3a minus 10. And the second one would be 2a plus 1. Remember, when you take that 3 divided by 3, we're left with 1. So now if I were to FOIL these two, 3a times 2a would give me my 6a squared. Same thing on that bottom one. I am going to go ahead and have to multiply our front and our back since we can't take anything out of each of them. So multiply our 14 times our 3 to get us 42. So start with a 14a in the front of each. So remember this spot is my in-between because it's not the real factorization. Because 14a times 14a would give me that 196a squared, which is too many. So multiplying to 42 and adding to 13 would be our 6 and 7. First one can be divided by 2. Second one can be divided by 7. So we're left with 7a plus 3 times 2a plus 1. So now we have a multiplication problem where we've turned everything into its factors. Just look to cancel either up and down or diagonally now. So our 2's cancel out. Our 7a plus 3, our 7a plus 3 cancels out. Our 2a plus 1, 2a plus 1 cancel. Our 3a minus 10 and our 3a minus 10 cancel. But be careful because we still do have an a on the bottom. So if everything canceled out of the top, remember there is still a 1 up there and we have the a left on the bottom. All right, we will call that enough for today for your notes. So then you can go ahead and do your sheets, and the quizzy will follow when you are completed with your sheets. You will need to show work on your quizzy today.